requests like crazy on one of my recent Instagram pictures I saw I don't want to live forever I don't want to live forever just over and over again and then as well on YouTube there were just crazy amounts of comments comment requests for this song so I decided to go ahead and whip this tutorial up together for you guys and honestly I've really grown to love this song at first I'm gonna admit I wasn't a huge fan even though I love Taylor but it's really good I'm really loving it I think you guys are really going to love this tutorial. It's really simple. You don't need a capo. You just need to be in standard tuning and there's only four chords that you need to know. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, our first chord up is an F major. We have a G major. A C major. And our last chord is an A minor. Alright, now on to strumming, we're going to keep it really simple with this song because you really don't want to overpower, unless if that's the vibe that you're going for. But um, the first thing that I'm actually going to do before I get into strumming is I really listen to the instrumental part when it's opening up and it's very subtle. So I kind of wanted to do this plucking thing, so I take my thumb and then my index finger and so when I start on the F major, I pluck the two E strings. Whoa! So with the C major, I just moved to the two inside strings, so we have our A and B strings for the C major. And then G major, we go back out to the two E strings. Then A minor, just slide back into the inside two right here, A and B. So the F and G chords we plucked exactly the same, and then the C and A minor will be plucked the same. So we have... Whoa, oh, oh. And that chord progression repeats throughout the entire song, so it'll always be F major to C major to G major to A minor. All right, now getting into the strumming portion, we're going to start with the easiest one. So opening up the song with the lyrics, been sitting eyes wide open. So we have just single down strums right there. Of course, if you want to uh, continue on with the plucking or do a little bit of finger picking, that works there too. So it just kind of depends on your preference. So we have that, and then when we get into the pre-chorus, we want to pick it up a little bit. So I was also watching Taylor because she covered it acoustically, and she started to pick it up there as well. So I have down, 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 up for the pre-chorus. So it's going to sound a little bit like this. So it's going to be for each chord, that pattern. So moving on into the chorus, you can continue the pattern from the pre-chorus, but I like to pick it up a little bit, and so the pattern that I'm going to do is down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. However, that whole pattern is going to be split between two chords. So remember, our chord progression is four chords. So we are going to basically take two chords and play the strumming pattern, and then two more chords and play the strumming pattern again. So I'll go ahead and just show you what I mean. I don't want to live forever. That was once. Cause I don't want to be living in vain. Alright, so as you can see over that span of four chords, I played that strumming pattern twice. So the chords just pair up. So the F major and the C major are played within the strumming pattern. And then the G major and the A minor are on their own little island with that strumming pattern. And real quick, if you're wondering what I'm actually looking down at, I have a follow along principal lesson to this tutorial, so if you'd actually like to check this out and have access to it, I'll have a link down below that you can go check out, but it has everything that I go over in this tutorial, so it's a follow along. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. It's no point hoping at all 
something stuck in my mind Wondering if I dodged a bullet or just lost the love of my life oh. And that is how you play I Don't Wanna Live Forever by Zane and T-Swift. Sorry for messing up the lyrics in one part, but no one's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because that would be awesome. And if you are new to my videos, my name is Michelle, by the way. Nice to meet you. You should totally subscribe up here to my channel. And if you attempt this song, please check in in the Guitar Goddess Community Facebook group. I will link it down below in the description box. You can submit a prep practice check-in video so that way I can see how you're doing I can give you feedback if you want that and there's other members in the community as well to help support you and provide motivation and inspiration so definitely definitely go check that out but thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I shall see you guys in my next tutorial bye